Hello and welcome to Common Sense Mediation Academy Frequently Asked Questions. Today's question is how do I get on the minister's list? So the minister's list is a list of family mediators. Um, there's also other uh, early dispute resolution uh, practitioners that have different lists under kind of the same umbrella there. Um, and these are approved by the government to provide whichever service uh, to families before they can proceed with a court application. So you do not need to be on the minister's list to offer family mediation services, but if you want to offer those services as part of the process for folks to proceed with a court application, you need to be on the minister's list. And then you'll be able to provide that certificate of participation to the people that you're working with um, for them to proceed. So if you're wondering what the requirements are, I will show you with a quick screen share here. So you're going to go to the Saskatchewan website here, um, early family dispute resolution page, and you're going to go to the, the section that says information for professionals interested in becoming a recognized family mediator. And again, if you scroll back up here and you go to this section, you can look at um, what it would take to become a recognized parenting coordinator or arbitrator or whatever um, umbrella of early family dispute resolution you want to offer. So these are some options here. You can be a member of the Law Society of Family Mediation Canada or of the Alternative Dispute Resolution Institute of Saskatchewan. So if you're a member of one of those, you've met the first requirement. The next is you have to have two years of experience in family related practice. So maybe you have been offering uh, family counseling for the last two years. Maybe you've been a lawyer for the last two years. Maybe you've been offering family mediation for the last two years. Um, and then you need 80 hours of mediation theory and skills training, including 21 hours of family dynamics and separation and divorce, seven hours on financial issues related to separation and divorce, seven hours on ethical issues related to the mediation process, seven hours on drafting, meeting summaries or memoranda of, of understanding. In addition, you will also need 14 hours of family violence training, including training in identifying, assessing and managing fam family violence and power dynamics and then 21 hours of family law training if you are not a lawyer. If you're a lawyer, <laughs> they trust that you have lots of experience with family law. Um, if you are approved to be a family mediator under this legislation, you will be required to complete six hours yearly of professional development, and then you submit a declaration to that same, and then you're also going to have to have um, professional liability insurance, which you can get um, from Marsh or another insurance company. So if you have more questions about what courses you should take uh, to get on that minister's list, please feel free to book a consultation with us or a coaching session, and we would be happy to guide you as to what to take next in order to meet those requirements. You can give us a shout at admin at commonsensemediation.ca to set that up. Thank you and have a great day.